In this presentation, we'll discuss how to foster conversation and develop language skills beginning from birth. By conversing with your child early on, you begin to teach them the purpose of language. Shared communication that parents and children experience during play promotes language development. What can we avoid? It is necessary to avoid putting your baby in front of a TV or a television. Children need to hear adults talking. They need to hear real language and do not get the same benefits from a TV. <clears throat> Repeated failure is okay and children learn from this experience. Babies should be encouraged early on to reach for items within their reach. Parents do not have to hand them everything. Promote risk-taking early on. Children learn through observation and active engagement. Early lap reading and play are fundamentally social activities and fuel the development of language and thought. Early literacy through the reading of books combines playful discovery with the development of social emotional skills. Use Lift the Flap and Peekaboo books to engage babies. Serve and return conversations promote vocabulary development and the understanding of the rules of language. Toddlers enjoy engaging with caregivers through practice with conversation. Play progresses from social smiling to reciprocal serve and return interactions, the development of babbling, and then games such as peekaboo. Joint attention refers to the shared focus that conversational partners, an infant and caregiver, have on an object and topic. Infants and young children whose parents engage in more joint attention have larger vocabularies than those children whose parents engage in less joint attention. Caregiver-infant interaction is the earliest form of play. Parents begin engaging in conversations beginning at six weeks when babies smile and coo. Parents can mimic their infants cooing and babbling, progressing into conversations, and this will stimulate the understanding of conversations. Reading to your child frequently develops not only vocabulary, but listening comprehension. Try to read at least 15 minutes a day or until your baby tires of hearing the book. Active conversations about a child's environment will assist with vocabulary development. By 12 months of age, a child's experiences are helping to lay the foundation for the ongoing development of social skills. Infant memory in Piaget in terms develops as infants develop object permanence through visible and invisible games such as peekaboo. During the second year, toddlers learn to explore their world, developing the beginnings of self-awareness and using their parents as a home base or secure attachment. Play is brain building and assists with social, emotional, and executive function functioning skills that promote learning and adaptive and or pro-social behavior. Executive functioning helps children switch gears and transition from drawing with crayons to getting dressed for school. So play early on will benefit children as they grow and reach the preschool age. The early years are so special for both adults and children. Through play, with adults. Adults can reread their favorite childhood books. Parents learn to see the world from their child's eyes and are likely to communicate more effectively with their children. One study found that adult success later in life can be related to the experiences of childhood play, especially if that play cultivated curiosity, problem solving, teamwork, and flexibility.